Using this technology, our first test subject, Fabrizio, could seamlessly use his own prosthetic to move objects around and feel if they were hot or cold in real time. Furthermore, and maybe even more important, he could detect when his prosthetic hand was in contact with a human hand versus a fake hand. This is the first wearable bionic hand which allows amputees to feel temperature in their phantom hand. It is wearable because it doesn't need to be connected to an external computer and all the electronics, sensors, batteries are integrated into this socket. It is bionic because it communicates with the nervous system of the subject and can give the amputee the illusion that this missing hand, or the phantom hand, is cooling down or warming up. The exciting part of this technology is that it's fairly simple and could integrate any existing prosthetic hands. It doesn't need a surgery, it's all non-invasive. The social part of touch is essential for amputees to start feeling when they are in contact with other humans. What is exciting is that the study shows that the technology is mature to leave the lab and could now potentially enhance the life of patients using it.